Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you guys see what I see? <laughs> Do you guys see what I see? This is... Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, this is bad news. Okay. Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Gio. We are back for a new video of SnowRunner. We have just got the new update, which is the patch 5.0 as of June uh, 9th, 2020. Um, according to the patch notes, uh, we should be getting uh, on PS4 a new map. So the time here uh, map, the Rift. They say that the truck engine will now automatically be turned off if the player is AFK. Information about trucks that are stored in the garage is now displayed but on the minimap pop-up. Fixed problem when terrain simulation stopped work on certain situations. Fixed problem when the truck wheels were falling through the model of rocks. Uh, fixed problem with the cargo that was falling through the trailer. This was a really big issue, guys. That was uh, basically the, the the core feature of the game, where you're supposed to pull like yeah, big trucks with the heavy payloads, and uh, we're not able to basically load anything on the on the on the trailers. Besides putting some cargos and uh, just um, just packing them, but it was impossible to put the truck or any other vehicle on it. Then. Um, Fixed problem when the player uh, were unable to complete task for fuel trailer delivery if the fuel trailer is completely empty. Fixed possible truck loss if player quits the game when map is loading. A number of fixes for different collision situations between player tr trucks and trailers. This was also a big problem. Sometimes it was just like uh, being uh, thrown like miles away when you would get too close from someone or anything like that. The various fixes for in-game music, various performance and memory optimizations, fixed TUS 166 ultimate suspension using run localization template, fixed hammer tires using the wrong friction template, the CON 39 Marshall mass tweak to avoid mud, mud physics glitchiness, fixed repair the truck task on Smithfield dam map, yeah that, that, was, that one was glitched out I remember, multiple fixes of unrealistic collisions, wheel clipping or hovering on various objects, yeah that one also was kind of annoying, objective trucks that were not re being removed after task completion will now be properly removed from the map on level, ro level load, okay, Fixed drilling spare parts spawned for a lost counter mission in cop. Yeah, that one uh, was also kind of annoying because we wouldn't see the, the spare parts actually pop up on the map. Implemented safe corruption fix for players that are stuck in infinite load screens. I didn't experience that, thank god. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about what they're talking about. So then in cop, they said that they fixed a bug when the discovery of a vehicle as a guest added up to the vehicles discovered in solo. So I guess it was a duplication, something like that. Added ability to change region in co-op, this is finally, guys come on 2020, that's a basic feature, should have been there from the start. Guests can now spawn cargoes and manual loading zones in a co-op session, okay, why not? Uh, fixed bug when the player loca location icon was not properly displayed on the global map in co-op. Okay, uh, fine, fixed problem when guests were unable to refill in co-op, didn't have this happen to me. However, uh, when they talk about the co-op um, player location uh, thingy, uh, there was a big problem I had when I would travel from um, uh, Drown Lands to the Kari on Timer and by pulling, like winching another truck. Basically, when I would pop into Kari, uh, the second truck, would, I wouldn't be able to use it. Uh, it would just show me that I was actually in that truck. So if we were, for example, four people traveling to the Kari with all of us pulling a truck, on the winch would appear as eight players on the quarry and uh, yeah basically that, that truck would be lost forever and wouldn't be able to use it. UI moved crane anchors, control to function menu, auto fuel and broken engine messages are not properly displayed for trucks that players find on the map. Max rank is not properly displayed. Support option to choose different safe slots. Okay, this is good. Added icon for locked getaways. Okay. Then the options. Added sticks inversion for gamepad. Added alternative to metric systems. Added rebind for additional features, camera, map, profile, truck control. I guess we're still not having a photo mode or some uh, like a um, free run camera. Art, improve LOD for different objects on the map, crane art fixes, various rear view mirror replacement tweaks, tweaked lamppost lighting across all maps, okay. 
Wheels for PC only, uh, okay, I don't care about that one. Uh, modding PC, no consoles only. Fixed headlights for PS4, okay, this is this is a big thing, guys. This is a big thing, I really hope it works. I'm gonna be really, really mad if it doesn't work, guys. Added highest textures for PS Pro, okay, this is good, and Xbox One X, and added working review mirrors on consoles. This is a good, good feature as well, because, come on, it was a bit, uh, I mean, uh, a bit disappointing guys, it's 2020, we're playing on like next gen consoles and uh, we don't have basic features that these ones come on like uh, I remember some games on PS2 already had the uh, uh, rear view uh, mirrors working and uh, headlights, I mean it's like a basic feature guys, a really basic feature. Uh, okay, uh, I'm a bit, uh, I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm a bit uh, skeptical and uh, anxious to try this. But let's do this, let's do this. I'm really, really, I don't know, I have, I have a, I want to be positive, but I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling since the beginning, uh, since the first day I got this game. For the money I spent, I, I haven't been happy, really not, so. I might be, I might get roasted, I don't care, it's my money, I'm really not satisfied with what I got for the money I paid, so. Whatever, if you guys are happy with what you got, good for you, for all the people that are not understand the value of money and what they got for this game. I mean, you guys understand me, you're not sure my point, but it's fine, right? So let's see, boys, let's see. Ah, rolling drums. Okay, I guess I'm in the quarry. So. Ah, okay. Guys, are you ready? <laughs> Pressing L1 and circle. Oh, fuck me, it's not working. Are you fucking serious? Oh, it's... Oh my god, it's still not working. Dude, what the f Jesus. <sighs> oh, maybe... No, it doesn't make sense if I start to... Okay, guys, so... Oh my god, I'm so, f so frustrated right now. <laughs> Okay, so it's not working. So guys, this is what you get. For 70 euros, uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say, guys. I don't even know what to say. It's, it's, it's a basic feature. It's a freaking basic feature. It's not working. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Uh, fuck. I wanna, I wanna try see if at least they fix the, the, the trailer problem. <laughs> man, if man, if they haven't fixed this, if it's still not working, I am, I am gonna, I'm gonna contact Sony EU. I'm gonna ask for a refund. First of all, this video is gonna be YouTube. And oh man, this is bad. This is bad. It's clearly written in the patch note. Fixed headlights for PS4 still not working man it's, it's like it's been two months two freaking months the game has been released i'm playing on ps4 pro <laughs> i've been waiting for this game forever <laughs> yo what the fuck why do i have a pc what b9 what the fuck is b9 what do i have a b9 here on the right move up down b9 local map b9 what the hell is this Relax, relax, okay, let's, let's, let's just, uh, let me just buy a tiger. Oh, bro, oh, bro, oh, bro, this is so frustrating. The game feels slow. The game feels slow for some reason. 
Oh my god, the menu is so slow. What the hell is this? Why is it so slow? Yo. Do you guys remember how we how we had like the game at the first version we had and that they did some update? I think the uh, was it like two weeks later, three weeks later, they did some update that was like eight gigas and then it actually made the game worse, was it? Well, I think the guys at Cyber Interactive are really not giving a shit about uh, PS4 boys. This is... Oh, this is bad. So, I want to get, uh, as always... Uh, train with the low saddle. Okay, and... Uh, You guys can hear the frustration in my voice. Oh, whatever. I just want to save the... Uh, <laughs> I can hook up something on the... Wait, it's not gonna work now. So, I just want to say something for all the, all the people that are probably gonna roast me and comment that Oh, why do you give a give a shit? It's just headlights, blah blah blah, you're driving forward and like it's the least of your problems. Guys, I don't... Honestly, I don't care about what you think, but I want my, my I want my freaking headlights to be working. You know, for a game that uh, promoted itself as being like the most realistic simulator, off-road simulator, having a basic feature as freaking headlights not turning on, it's it's like I'm sorry, but it's, it's totally unacceptable. And I just want my headlights to be working when I'm freaking driving and I'm going around. I want to see those like you know light beams, you know, blinding me even. So yeah, I just want to see that. You know, even the beacons, at least the beacons, you know? It just looks good. It's, it's realistic. I mean, have, if you're playing COP, you got people driving behind you, and you can see it. I mean, it just gives, you know, a better, better feel to the game. It's, it's really simple, guys. It's not difficult to understand. I don't know why so, so many people are, like, having issues getting that point. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy. So we're gonna get, uh, yep, this one. And uh, I'm gonna go hop back. Yo, okay. Into the garage. Truck storage. Oh boy, oh boy. So let's try this. So change truck, activate, uh, okay, activate, uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, now you can activate the anchor like this, okay, this is good, change truck, let's go into the Azov, let's try to get this big boy, <laughs> Moment of truth number two, boys. Moment of truth number two. Why do I feel like it's still not gonna work? It's not get on it, but as soon as I'm gonna change truck, it's not gonna work anymore. I really feel like it. Let me let me get another one. Uh, the, the scout. The where's the con? Oh uh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, there we go. Oh okay. <laughs> Do you guys see what I see? <laughs> Do you guys see what I see? This is oh my oh, oh, yeah yeah this is bad news. Okay wait, the yar won't fit actually. I need to put the. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? I want this one. Oh well. <laughs> oh, there we go, guys. We have a new mod. We have the the ghost uh, as of the ghost as of. This is a bad sign. This. 
<laughs> it's not fucking working. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. It didn't solve anything. Oh, it didn't solve anything. There we go. I don't know what to say, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna change the targets when I go through. Maybe. What? What? What the hell is this even? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. They both glitched out. All right, I feel. I got you. I got you. Thank you, Cyber Cyber Interactive. Well done. Good job, guys. Amazing. Uh, so yeah, we got 11 gigs of update after two months of owning the game, and this is what we got. Uh, I am out of this game. I'm gonna try to send an email to Sony. Uh, I'm gonna post a link in the video, guys, about an article uh, regarding um, PS uh, refund policy. That you know when you buy a game on um, the, the PS Store, basically Sony has a very sketchy refund policy on this that basically will not allow you to get a refund after I think like uh, 7 days or 10 days. But recently uh, Australia fined Sony 2.4 million uh, for refusing refunds of faulty PlayStation games. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Please have a look at it, read it, and I'm uh, pretty sure that uh, this game falls under that, uh, that issue. So in any case, I'm gonna contact them, I'm gonna link this uh, article to them and I will keep you updated on when they answer and I think that if I don't get my refund, I might actually take some legal actions against them or Cyber Interactive because this is a fucking joke, I swear to god, this is, this is not good guys. Not buying the game with mama's money and everything, you don't give a damn about it, but when you actually work, you get your money and you should like, you know, get what you paid for, uh, this is uh, unbelievable and un unacceptable, so guys, uh, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on, and uh, until then, I mean, whatever, let me know in the comments what you think, if your experience is different, but uh, I mean, c c come on, this is ridiculous, guys, this is, this is ridiculous, yep, anyways, peace out, guys.